Hi, I'm Maya Flor and we're here in Los Angeles. I moved uh, a year and a half ago from Paris, France, and we have some work here. I have two books that were released this year in March and this one in 2015 at Actus Sud edition. Uh, this book is actually from this work that is showing in Paris at the moment. Uh, it's part of a residency in Brittany that I did last year. Um, and in my work, I use my home body uh, as a part of my experimentation. So I, I set up the scenes, I perform on it, and then I, I will edit and use the digital manipulation or sometimes not, but in the idea to extend a surrealist kind of picture. And this is the type of paper I usually print on, uh, which is a ultra smooth paper that gives a more painting-like uh, type of image, makes it very soft. Um, yeah, because my color palette is almost like a painting or an illustration more. Um, and here we have some of the contact that I use to as a primary process where I try to find what's going on in the movement. I will be drawing and painting and cutting and editing from from the paper and more like collages. So I usually collect a lot of movement and trying to find this in-between moment, this like split second where something is actually falling apart. And I will be just like trying to make it bigger. <laughs> Maybe like when, when in this picture I set up I set up a scene, I, I will sit and I will have this block of ice in my hand and we'll just wait and wait and wait for this moment where something's gonna happen and what happened came out from the body usually it's from either a movement or a light yeah, I've been researching this moment where we fell, or we rise, or... The inside emotion is actually showing outside. It's shot in France and in the US, uh, in Europe also. Um, I mean, uh, in Finland or uh, Scandinavia, where I've been doing a lot of uh, artist residencies. But when I work, I, I have so much archives now that I usually just go back in time and, and do collages from different pictures. So some landscapes don't even exist. I made them up. <laughs> and some other pictures, I, I haven't used any digital manipulation and it was shot uh, on location, like this one. That one was in France, actually. Oh, Saint-Tropez, where you've been with the cake. <laughs> Rememories is my first book. It was the first monography published at Actus Sud Edition. Uh, actually started, I always start books by the end, um, but I, I have this notebook that are all my sketches and the way I, I work um, before I make all the scenes. And for this book, I've been um, collaborating with the writer um, who wrote this little story. I didn't want it to have a statement, but more of a story because, yeah, this body of work was made with a lot of childhood memories. So I wanted to have something that will talk to many different types of people kids, adults, whoever wants to connect with their feelings from the childhood. There's a lot of playfulness and playing with colors and scenarios. 
all kind of possible scenarios that could happen if we take time to set them up. <laughs> this book, uh, Deal en Lune, was released in March 2020. It's a collaboration with the French poet and part of an artist residency I did in Brittany. Et j'ai participé euh, à ces dix jours de résidence où j'ai été vraiment euh, challengée par euh, le territoire qui est en permanence en train de changer. Because the dives are huge and the water is just changing the landscape constantly. So I, I've used a more monochromatic palette. Uh, that will include a uh, monochrome with blue and sand color. Um, but the, um, the light and the landscape moved me more than I, <laughs> I expected. It just remembers me that everything is constantly changing.